What's up guys? Back here with another unboxing video. This is the drone that has replaced my GoPro Karma drone. And it is the DJI Spark. And this is the Fly More combo. Let's see what comes in the box. This is the case for the Spark itself. Very, very lightweight, compact drone. So two-point gimbal as opposed to the three-point gimbal on the Karma drone. Extra batteries, extra propellers. Then we have the another carrying case. Doesn't quite look like this case fits inside this case, but whatever. Inside we have the remote control. A little spot for your phone right there. Have the charging cable. The charging cable for the remote control. It says two USB ports. You can charge your phone and the remote simultaneously and the I don't even know what you call this thing spark battery charging hub charge three batteries separately or three batteries at once right there and yeah that's everything that the fly more kit comes with well, well not everything obviously there's a boatload of literature. I am absolutely in love with this DJI Spark drone. I love the weight of it, I love the size of it. It is a very compact, small drone, but it is still very stable, even under medium wind conditions. There's really only one complaint I have about it over the GoPro drone, but it's very minuscule. It hovers well, the size of it allows it to kind of seem more like a toy if you're out in a public place where you may or may not have permission to be flying it and it seems a little bit less intimidating to other people once they see it they may not think that it's capable of such cinematic or semi-professional quality video uh, another huge feature that i love about it is the manual adjustments of the iso and the shutter speed and this is a big thing for maximizing the quality of your shots. It's the same with a DSLR camera. The auto modes are never as good as adjusting the settings yourself and getting it just right. You can see here that a little bit of adjustments with just the ISO and the shutter drastically improve the quality of the video or the shot that you're trying to take. And that is a major point. I'm not sure if the GoPro drone has that feature, but I never found it. I also only got two flights out of it. Uh, the one downside, as you can kind of see in this clip, is the two-point gimbal. When you're turning really fast or flying sideways, it can kind of skew the video that you didn't really get that with the GoPro drone. However, the reliability of the Spark over the GoPro drone is incredible. I had Maybe it was two or three minutes into the second flight with the GoPro drone before it grenaded itself. And I can't even count how many flights I've had with the Spark. And I am just absolutely loving this drone. I cannot wait to take it out to Europe and really put it to use, really getting some good shots, going to some castles or some beaches and really, really upping my video game. Um, it also has a few pre-programmed features that are actually really interesting. There is this feature, which is the droney feature. It sort of starts close and then moves back and pans out, giving a really nice panoramic view of what you're, of the area that you're in. This would work great for beaches or cliff sides. There's also the rocket feature, which just starts up close and then just goes straight up, giving a bird's eye view. This would be good for if you're in a castle or something where, or an area with a lot of trees to where moving back and up might not be the safest option for the drone. Then there's the two other features, which are the 
Helix feature, which is sort of like the droney combined with circling you. It starts up close and essentially does a expanding spiral. And the, the cool thing about these features is once it's done with its cycle, whether it be the Drony, the Helix, whatever, it returns to where it started the cycle. So you can do it completely hands-free and it's going to come right back to where you need to. There's also the uh, plain circle feature where it stays close and just circles the subject. All of this can be done hands-free and the very very nice features. I've also noticed that the obstacle avoidance sensors work really well. It will tell you if you're within 10 feet of an obstacle in front of the drone and even when you turn it off you can just grab it out of the air and turn it to the side. The active track feature, which I'm doing now, I just set the controller on my mailbox, hopped on my bike, started riding, and it tracked me just fine and I was surprised at the quality of the recording. It's, this is a very high-tech piece of equipment for how little it costs. So yeah, I love the DJI Spark drone. Absolutely stoked to have it. Can't wait to take it to Europe. If you're in the market for a drone and you want something inexpensive and high quality, look no farther than the DJI Spark. I love this drone, you will too. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want more, and uh, thanks for watching guys.